comes the axe. Prove yourself. One more hit. We'll do the trick. Doppelganger in, and it should be here. Slaps him down. Oh, the illusion. There we go. Real hero. We'll take the kill at long last. Then playing a battling with Shadow. And PL falls back as well. Interesting. 1-1-0 one, one, build on the Phantom Lancer, but it's working out until the hook under the tower. Smurf now with no cooldowns, going to get chased out and stomped into the ground as they finally get the trade back they've been wanting for so long. Bottom lane, Weaver Nightmare, and with the nice little thirst from the blood... Stout shield, Mango ready for another, another stomp. Another stomp's coming. Smurf is caught and he's killed. Way too far in. Over-aggressive reaching for these kills. Already a bit of tilt, potentially, from the Phantom Lancer. Kunker, 11-1 against Zeus, 18-4. Kunker should be doing much better in this lane. I've, I've seen Kunker's slaughter. Oh, Shadow. Oh, dear. Was, I just got a hook into a rock, I guess. Dead, dead, dead. Jakiro, gone. But, yeah, the fact that you've got Tidebringer level 2 should pretty much be automatic denies on the majority of the creeps mid. The fact he's 15 and 1 feels like Chobo's making some mistakes in this lane. Oh, oh we miss out. Stout shield, Mango ready for another, another stomp. Another stomp's coming. Smurf is caught and he's killed. Way too far in. Over aggressive reaching for these kills. Already a bit of tilt potentially from the Phantom Lancer. Kunker, 11-1 against Zeus, 18-4. Kunker should be doing much better in this lane. I've, I've seen Kunker's slaughter. Oh, Shadow. Oh, dear. I just got a hook into a rock, I guess. Dead, dead, dead. Jakiro, gone. But yeah, the fact that you've got Tidebringer level 2 should pretty much be automatic denies on the majority of the creeps mid. The fact he's 15-1 and one feels like Chobo's making... Some mistakes in this lane. Oh. Oh, we we'll miss out. Unfortunately, rid of that pipe at some point. Going for a fight onto the pudge. That's everything really spent onto Turp. But he's nightmared and four staffed, and he's getting away. The swarm is on him, and Weaver looks for that takedown. He played by some time. Riles keeps Turp alive. Expenditure was massive from the dire side. Now Chobo stomped up, but a quick Yule's under the centaur. Keeps him away from. Palms reach there, and Phantom Lancer focusing the throne. Blood right in onto this poor little Jay Weaver. No buyback. Dead for 100. Song of the Siren. Resets it all. Meteor Hammer coming down. Rid of that pipe at some point. Going for a fight onto the Pudge. That's everything really spent onto Turp. But he's nightmared and four staffed, and he's getting away. The swarm is on him, and Weaver looks for that takedown. E played by some time. Riles keeps Turp alive. Expenditure was massive from the dire side. Now Chobo stomped up, but a quick Yule's under the centaur. Keeps him away from harm's reach there, and Phantom Lancer focusing the throne. Blood right in onto this poor little Jay Weaver. No buyback, dead for 100. Song of the Siren resets it all. Meteor Hammer coming down. That is a big mistake to make. Now the Nimbus onto your boy JC as he does drop a little bit lower and lower but it's still this Pudge moving forward. Smurf, no doppelganger and he's dead to rights. The ice path of the boat over the top. Smurf survives. The Phantom Lancer's out. Oh my god, if the Pudge can hook him. No, he's not going to get in range in time. So Tup cannot find that pick off but the Kunk is dead. Has his buyback. Shadow TPing home. Bloodseeker still looking for a target. Buys up the Scythe of Ice and Phantom Lancer. Oh, he's got the Hex on the Bloodseeker first. Now the PL. Can he find this kill? Chef Curry, he's got help coming in. It's the Pudge. The Blood right there, but the Pudge doesn't complete his TP. Phantom Lancer gets an absolutely vital kill on the Bloodseeker there. And I'm just keeping this buyback status up. Bane, no for seven minutes. Jakiro, no for three. Weaver, 850 gold off it. Whoa, your boy JC. Kills off BBTM. That is a big mistake to make. Now the Nimbus onto your boy JC as he does drop a little bit lower and lower, but it's still this Pudge moving forward. Smurf, no doppelganger, and he's dead to rights. The ice path of the boat over the top. Smurf survives. The Phantom Lancer's out. Oh my god, if the Pudge can hook him, no, he's not going to get in range in time. So Tup cannot find that pick off, but the Kunk is dead. Has his buyback. Shadow TPing home. Bloodseeker still looking for a target. 
Buys up the Scythe of Ice and Phantom Lancer. Oh, he's got the Hex on the Bloodseeker first. Now the PL. Can he find this kill? Chef Curry, he's got help coming in. It's the Pudge. The Blood right there, but the Pudge doesn't complete his TP. Phantom Lancer gets an absolutely vital kill on the Bloodseeker there. And I'm just keeping this buyback status up. Bane, no for seven minutes. Jakiro, no for three. Weaver, 850 gold off it. Whoa, your boy JC kills off BBTM. Going into creep wave. He sees Shadow. Jakiro should be an easy grab here. Hooking back into the Centaur Stomp. Chef Curry has died elsewhere as they're diving the Bane. Jay turned around on again. BBTM has a swarm on him. Your boy JC with no ensnare can't really go for any more there as Pudge found, but the Zeus ult. Going into creep wave. He sees Shadow. Jakiro should be an easy grab here. Hooking back into the Centaur Stomp. Chef Curry has died elsewhere as they're diving the Bane. Jay turned around on again. BBTM has a swarm on him. Your boy JC with no ensnare can't really go for any more there as Pudge found, but the Zeus ult. Kunker. Snare, Torrent, and Boat. Riles. Dropped very quickly. Nightmare from BBTM comes out now. Top Kunker. Snare, Torrent, and Boat. Riles. Dropped very quickly. Nightmare from BBTM comes out now. Top one against the PL. I'm just unsure I see the value leveling up this much. Seems a little excessive. Turp, hook on the PL, Smurf, doppelganger. We'll get him a bit of distance here. And now the Naga with the Jakiro. Swing back, end play in a Turp, both dead. Quick stomp, double edge, PL survives on about 5 HP. Very close to finding some big kills, but now they're all low top. The Bloodseeker does a million damage. 876 against the PL. I'm just unsure I see the value leveling up this much. Seems a little excessive. Turp, hook on the PL, Smurf, doppelganger. We'll get him a bit of distance here. And now the Naga with the Jakiro. Swing back, end play in a Turp, both dead. Quick stomp, double edge, PL survives on about 5 HP. Very close to finding some big kills, but now they're all low top. The Bloodseeker does a million damage. 876. They walk into fights, soak up a bunch of spells, ultis maybe. Oh, hello, mid lane. There's a rupture out from the Bloodseeker. The Torrent, not going to be enough to keep the Zeus at bay as the Stampede. They walk into fights, soak up a bunch of spells, ultis maybe. Oh, hello, mid lane. There's a rupture out from the Bloodseeker. The Torrent, not going to be enough to keep the Zeus at bay as the Stampede. And nothing happening, but Naga, a quick and snare back. Bloodseeker held at bay as the Zeus, another lightning bolt. Try and keep this thirst on for Chef Curry. And the Bane arrives at long last. BBTM here, still level five, so no Fiend's grip. Zeus will keep this going, and they take down. And nothing happening, but Naga, a quick and snare back. Bloodseeker held at bay as the Zeus, another lightning bolt. Try and keep this thirst on for Chef Curry. And the Bane arrives at long last. BBTM here, still level five, so no Fiend's grip. Zeus. We'll keep this going, and they take down. Looks towards. Turp just playing with the PL a bit here, with a quick hook into Dismember. Kunker. I'm not going to do too much with the torrent and the boat. Centaur does escape. In the meanwhile, though, looks towards. Turp just playing with the PL a bit here, with a quick hook into Dismember. Kunker. I'm not going to do too much with the torrent and the boat. Centaur does escape. In the meanwhile, though. Get X marked up into the big spells of Jakiro. Everything actually thrown into the mix. The fire, the flames, the ice, and the damage. Centaur turns to fight and nearly kills the PL. Get X marked up into the big spells of Jakiro. Everything actually thrown into the mix. The fire, the flames, the ice, and the damage. Centaur turns to fight and nearly kills the PL. Zeus cancels his TP. They want to try and turn this and fight it. The boat will come on through, landing on the Zeus inside the Macropire, but the song keeps the damage away from the Radiant Heroes. Now, Chobo might be in a little too deep all on his own. 3v1. Bane coming from the back stamp with the Fiend's Grip onto the Nagasara, and they're going to look to take down her. Good blood right in onto the top of two of them as well. Chobo trapped and killed. Great team play here by the Radiant side as they look for... Now, Weaver, swarm forward. Bloodseeker caught. It's a good blood right. But the damage over the top is way too much to handle. Pudge tries to make his retreat away. Now, Stampede will catch Jakiro with a stomp, but n -Planer was hoping for a little bit more. Oh, spells just being cast in fury and concern. Tragedy strikes as Bane will lose his life. BBTM 
falls flat on his face in front of his tier one tower. Now another X mark back as Endplaner dragged in. The buyback from the Bloodseeker comes on through. It's a long TP with a song to slow it all down as well. Zeus Phantom Lancer has been missed. The Farmy Lancer. Turp. Dismember. Phantom Lancer dropped within an inch of his life. He does turn and fight now, though. Very nearly dies. Look at that. Smurf down to 50. He's very close to that top spot net worth. Kunka. Killing off Chef Curry. He's very close to that top spot net worth. Kunka. Killing off Chef Curry. And it clears the illusions of the Naga, but grabbed and dragged back into the torrent. Stampede is there, but the ensnare will hold him in place, and Weaver just rains the bug attacks in onto the centaur, little by little, chipping away. Jay just have to, he's got to be careful there with that return damage coming in, but it will be enough. And it clears the illusions of the Naga, but grabbed and dragged back into the torrent. Stampede is there, but the ensnare will hold him in place, and Weaver just rains the bug attacks in onto the centaur, little by little, chipping away. Jay just have to, he's got to be careful there with that return damage coming in, but it will be enough. But with a 3k net worth lead, pushing themselves into tier 2 areas as well, and Riles, Zeus gets annihilated. I thought that was a PL with a DD or something. Zeus just gets like four hit down. They're going to continue in as well. Pudge gets grabbed. Chobo swings back, looks for another target. It's going to be the Bane in the back. And gets broken down. BBTM. Zeusy, Zeusy, Zeusy. X mark. Not going to work, actually. Riles gets his ulti off. Does die in the back to Chobo, though. Bloodseeker dodges away from the boat. Stands his ground to fight the Kunkka, but Weaver's here. Bloodseeker, torrented up, killed off. Shadow arrives, they've got the Centaur Stomp, but look at this Kunker tanking it up with drums and hood. The boat buff still on him, now finally dies. But Centaur will give his life for sure. Hook will grab Shadow, BBTM gets the grip into the back, the Weaver's caught, and Planer sung. Slept. Smurf. Zeusy, Zeusy, Zeusy. X mark, not going to work actually. Riles gets his ulti off. Does die in the back to Chobo though. Bloodseeker dodges away from the boat. Stands his ground to fight the Kunker, but Weaver's here. Bloodseeker torrented up, killed off. Shadow arrives. They've got the Centaur Stomp, but look at this Kunker tanking it up with drums and hood. The boat buff still on him, now finally dies. But Centaur will give his life for sure. Hook will grab Shadow. BBTM gets the grip into the back. The Weaver's caught. and planer sung. Slept. Smurf. The rest of Chef Curry looking to fight, though. Quick dismember onto the Weaver. Now Ice Path. Time lapse back. Weaver's alive. Jay has wasted a lot of the cooldowns here of the Radiant Side. So Chef Curry chased down. PL dropping low. Smurf. The Blade Mail. The Blade Mail. Oh, he gets... Very, very quickly taken down. Pudge has fallen, though, now as the Zeus looks to hold this tier one fight away. But good chain combos. Stuns and kills. That tanky Centaur as they find another. Buyback from the Pudge. I don't know what this is going to accomplish. Like, think about that, right? If your PL and your Kunker and your Weaver have all got Coco's Rum boat buff on them. Oh. They've killed Shadow. Cool. Good stampede to maybe get this Pudge away. They're making an aggressive play also up to top. Smurf is gone. Turp just about getting away as well. So stamp Four staff from Pudge not going to work out. Forces the Ghost Scepter out. Chobo goes with the X into Torrent. And down goes Zeus. A few misplays there, it feels like. Four staff from Pudge not going to work out. Forces the Ghost Scepter out. Chobo goes with the X into Torrent. And down goes Zeus. A few misplays there, it feels like. SFTP. Bloodseeker going to catch here as the Kunker X marks himself back in. The Torrent and the Song resets everything. Your boy JC, you're going to go for this Meteor Hammer play onto three. It looks like you will. Trouble is the Nightmare and the Hook are both there. Naga Siren tries to split away, but the Mirror Image killed off. Oh, BBTM. This is not a safe place to be. Chobo is very... Phantom Lancer illusions all over the place, though. He gets a good hook, catches out Shadow. Yules up into the air, and the ensnare in the back with the Meteor Hammer on top. Shadow buys time. Keeps the Pudge away from this fight. Aegis grabbed by the Phantom Lancer as well as the Stampede. 
It is full retreat from CCCC. Smurf wants in, but his Phantom Rush there cancels it himself to throw the Lance, but he's got eyes on the prize. Bane Elemental doppelgangered on. BBTM looks like he's gone. And Planer and Chef Curran and Centaur. Luckily, they've got the rupture on the Smurf PL. The real one's caught. Now, and Planer in onto the Weaver. Now he's the time lapse. The song arrives, and now. It's time. Smurf jumping forward, looking for the Zeus. End plane is going to be the one that gets lanced up as the Phantom Lancer tries to bring him down, but he's got that Crimson Guard with the hood. So the Phoenix Drip swing back. Zeus, he's got mana for the damage and he throws it in. The PL's gone. SFT and Centaur. Luckily, they've got the rupture on the Smurf PL. The real one's caught. Now End Planer in onto the Weaver. Now he's the time lapse. The song arrives and now. It's time. Smurf jumping forward, looking for the Zeus. End plane is going to be the one that gets lanced up as the Phantom Lancer tries to bring him down, but he's got that Crimson Guard with the hood. So the Phoenix Drip swing back. Zeus, he's got mana for the damage, and he throws it in. The PL's gone. SFT. Perfectly done as Jay Centaur getting chased. Weaver. Lincoln Sphere on cooldown. Nightmare up. There's the Bane getting the grab. Sentry's there as well. Dismember. They need to pop the Lincoln somehow, so the Centaur stomp into Lincoln's pop, and down goes the Weaver. Perfectly done as Jay Centaur getting chased. Weaver. Lincoln Sphere on cooldown. Nightmare up. There's the Bane getting the grab. Sentry's there as well. Dismember. They need to pop the Lincoln somehow so the Centaur stomp into Lincoln's pop and down goes the Weaver. So they have a nightmare to buy some time and save him up. Might just have to. BBTM. Well, he hooks Chef Curry, but he's already dead to the macro pyre. In the middle of it all is this big bad Centaur end planer. Gets caught inside that ice bath though. Down to about half HP. Smurfs, Phantom Lancer. Jumps forward with a doppelganger, dodges the stomp. And Lotus Orb does bounce that Lance back into Smurf. And this Centaur is so bloody tanky. Almost impossible to kill, it feels like. But Smurf's going to give it a good old try. Drops incredibly low. Zeus Nimbus kills the Weaver, in fact. End plane against the final. Shovo way too tanky though. Look at that. Just slaps him down. Easy peasy. Nice Nimbus. Sidebringer comes back up, and Chobo says, Thank you very much. Chobo way too tanky though, look at that, just slaps him down, easy peasy. Nice Nimbus. Slidebringer comes back up and Chobo says thank you. I can't freaking remember. Nimbus and Fiend's Grip, Kunkka. Well, he's been caught, that's a lot of expenditure to drop into half HP though, and now Song of the Siren healing up Chobo. They've got the Macropyre over the top, but this song could set up for a wonderful ice path if Shadow can get the line correct. The Meteor Hammer over the top with the boat landing forward. They've killed off BBTM. The Nightmare buys a bit of time, but Bane is gone. Chef Curry caught yet again inside the ice path as the Kunker looks to retreat, turns the fight to up as the Pudge left high and dry by the rest of his squad. X Mark back and killed off. Your boy JC going ham, nearly killing off Chef Curry all on his own. Now the rest of the team turns up and they absolutely own him. End planer. Full retreat, but Smurf has killed off the backline Riles. And Jay both here, blink away, but X Mark just there again. On the money with a scythe device from the Phantom Lancer arriving at long last. They get that kill. Forms BKB. 10 second duration. Scythe device to start things off, but the Blood Right does catch a couple as the boat lands on top of them. They're not going to lose anyone just yet. This entire team surviving through it all. Nagasara slept up, and BBTM chased back and snared and killed and sliced and diced. Four heroes dead without buyback. And Chef. Curry Culinary Club series might just be coming to a close. 25 to 40 in SFTP. Full control of this game. Taking down a second lane. Forms BKB. 10 second duration. Scythe of Ice to start things off, but the Blood Right does catch a couple as the boat lands on top of them. They're not going to lose anyone just yet. This entire team surviving through it all. Nagasara slept up, and BBTM chased back and snared and killed and sliced and diced. Four heroes dead without buyback. And Chef. Curry Culinary Club series might just be coming to a close. 25 to 40 in SFTP. Full control of this game. Taking down a second lane. Hammer, torrent, boat, uh, macro pyre, ice path. I'm going to name all the spells here as the swarm is onto the centaur as well. And end planer. He's got all of the nice shiny items that keep him tanky and alive. And they will get him back to Fountain and allow him to survive as the Zeus stands inside the Nimbus, Yule's up as well. Shadow, Ice Path forward though with the Ghost Scepter there from Riles. Chobo has to do this the old fashioned way. A quick time lapse from Jay. Don't know where he came from, but he comes back in and Zeus dead for 112 seconds. Hammer, Torrent, Boat, uh, Macropire, Ice Path. I'm going to name all the spells here as the Swarm is onto the Centaur as well. And then Planer. 
He's got all of the nice, shiny items that keep him tanky and alive. And they will get him back to Fountain and allow him to survive as the Zeus stands inside the Nimbus Yules up as well. Shadow, ice path forward though with the Ghost Scepter there from Riles. Chobo has to do this the old-fashioned way. A quick time lapse from Jay. Don't know where he came from, but he comes back in and Zeus dead for 112 seconds. Killed. Mega Creeps will arrive. Blood Rite is good. With them playing up at the front, they're going to look for your boy JC. Time lapse there from the Weaver. Keeps the Naga alive at least a little, a little longer. Mirror Image not going to come out fast enough, though, as in the back end, they've got Chobo dead to rights. Finally, the Pudge of the Bane get to work. But for closes, he's ensnared up, and the PL Illusions chase him down. The song ends for the Stampede to start. And Planer tries to buy a bit of space for his team. The backstab from Centaur, but it's the dismember on the front that's very nice on the Weaver, taking out the Aegis of the Immortal. Chef Curry. Step one complete. Kunka blinks in. No big crit from him. PL needs that heart regen to start kicking in. Centaur's jumped in. Two-man stomp. Kills off one. Shadow's gone. Your boy JC is going to fall himself back away as Smurf. He's losing a little bit of HP here. Don't know if it's to the blade mill or what, but look at him. He's dying. Smurf has to fall away. The boat won't come across the Phantom Lancer. Now he's going to get chased down by the Pudge with the BKB dismember. They kill him off. Oh, SFTP. It's time to run and hide. Definitely feel like, uh, felt like they needed a second pipe. Good timing on the boat. We'll keep the Kunker alive and that time lapse in. So like we were saying before, all of the spells ulties wasted on that Kunker as he is kept alive thanks to the time lapse. And now Smurf's allowed to do the damage. Bloodright might just catch him. No, he gets out. The Rupture's taking him down to half HP though and Smurf dies. Might need to buy back here to continue this fight as Chobo left high and dry by the rest of his team. Hooked back, but the time lapse is there. Jay keeps him up and running. Bloodseeker still chasing forward. The torrent will catch Pudge, but he is dead. Zeus zaps him down with the ethereal blade and lightning combo. Blood right on the Naga now. SFTP struggling to end this game. 88, 8.8, 9.3, 9.3, 10, 11, 9, 11,100, 12,100. So... 9,000, they have, they have a, they, technically they have a 9,000 net worth lead because half of this lead isn't being used by anything. Chef Curry nearly dying to a bloody Jakiro. Luckily the Pudge and the Zeus are there to help with the Nimbus. On to four, they'll get a Meteor Hammer landing on three. Not timed well enough though. Your boy JC too early, came out too quick and blew his load as the throne now exposed. Smurf going forward, blood right over the top of him. But the BBTM Bane dropping low as Turp moves forward. BKB up on the Pudge. The big boat lands forward with the Coco's Rum on top of them all. And the Nimbus will get burnt down by the PL Illusions. Now the Pudge with end plane are moving forward. They're trying to kill off Chobo, but this Weaver time lapsing left and right. They can't kill anyone off. They're also tanky being kept alive all by this Jay Weaver. Now your boy JC and snare back with the Meteor Hammer over the top. Chef Curry in trouble and it looks like he's going to just about life steal up the Blade Mail. The double kill with a Blood Rage. He's killed off two somehow through it all. Your boy JC will be a triple kill for Chef Curry. Throne loses a third of his HP as they lost their tier four as well, but if they get the PL, it's all worth it. Smurf killed, dominating Royals on the Zeus. As on to four, they'll get a Meteor Hammer landing on three. Not timed well enough though. Your boy JC too early, came out too quick and blew his load as the throne now exposed. Smurf going forward, blood right over the top of him, but the BBTM Bane dropping low as Turp moves forward. BKB up on the Pudge. The big boat lands forward with the Coco's Rum on top of them all and the Nimbus will get burnt down by the PL Illusions. Now the Pudge with end plane are moving forward. They're trying to kill off Chobo, but this Weaver time lapsing left and right. They can't kill anyone off. They're also tanky being kept alive all by this Jay Weaver. Now your boy JC and snare back with the Meteor Hammer over the top. Chef Curry in trouble and it looks like he's going to just about life steal up the Blade Mail. The double kill with a blood rage he's killed off two somehow through it all your boy jc will be a triple kill for chef curry throne loses a third of his hp as they lost their tier four as well but if they get the pl it's all worth it smurf killed dominating royals on the zeus as naga jakira already having spent his might be a dieback here for staff pipe rod of atos a little bit of distance but the blood seeker is speedy on his quick little